Hey guys, what's up? H. DeMarzler here from the Tech Cruiser channel. We have another app for you to check out. If you've ever wanted to demo a video uh, or demo an app that you have on your iPhone, like for example, this is an amazing app. Uh, it does this, this, and that, and it does it very well. This is how it works. Or if you wanted to do a tutorial for family members uh, or you know anything of that sort, this app will allow you to record that video from your iPhone directly on your Mac. So if you have like a if you have ScreenFlow or QuickTime, uh, you can record the video that's being displayed on your screen. Now, when you download it, I'll put a link down below where you can get the uh, the download. You get a 10-minute trial. You get 10 minutes of use, and then the app will it'll shut off automatically. So once you download it, it comes in a DMG format. You go ahead and you extract it, and you come up with this window here. Now, all you really do is drag it over like you're installing any other app on your on your Mac. You go down to your applications folder and it'll open it up. You get this, you downloaded something from the internet, do you want to use it? You say okay. Now you can buy the license which is $14.99. It's not that bad. Or you can try it for 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and try it for 10 minutes. See there it is. Uh, using reflector in trial mode, it'll automatically close after 10 minutes. So you hit OK. We're going to go into the preferences. You can input your um, what device you're using it for. I'm using the iPhone 5. Uh, you can give your AirPlay a name and the password. And you click Done. So that's running. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your iPhone and you're gonna double click on the button, swipe over twice, select the item that you want to airplay to, slide the mirroring over, and you come up with your phone, with what's being displayed on your phone. Now there is a little bit of lag, it's not enough to uh, warrant not using it, because I've been looking for something like this for a very long time because uh, I am always checking out apps for my for my iPhone like for example we'll do a, an app review within an app review something new I'm a poet and didn't even know it check it out so there is if you're using um, the service if you're using Square to collect payments and stuff you have that thing you plug into the top of your phone to swipe uh, this is another app that does sort of the same thing. Uh, it's called Flint, but it uses your camera. Now I'm not going to go ahead and sign up for the this account because I use Square. I love my Square, uh, but I'll run through the tutorial that they have with you. It's available on the App Store. It's a free download, and you can input an amount. Say it's forty-seven. You sold. Um, uh, a cable or you sold your your old monitor to somebody for forty seven dollars you could put a short description in here um, flat screen LCD monitor and you click done no not monitors you click done fine we'll use monitors whatever you click next now what it's going to do is it's going to bring up your camera when you're inside the app and you take a picture of the credit card number now it only captures the credit card number and it doesn't store it in your photo um, in your photo album so there's no real worry about is he saving my credit card number to use it you know at Best Buy to buy that brand new HD TV it doesn't do that so you don't have to worry about it if you don't like the image you click rescan take another picture you're going to click use. It's going to come up with all the details. Uh, if anything's incorrect, you can fix it with in this screen. Everything is correct. So you click next. They're going to, how would you like to send the receipt? Um, if they want a receipt, if they do want a receipt, you can send it via their email. Um, 
you hit next and then you're going to go through it's going to check the credit card number to make sure it's a valid credit card everything appears to be good you click next you're going to have them sign with their finger like in square but you're going to use your finger and sign if they want to add an additional tip they can do that up top here in this screen in this little button you click the button it'll add a tip if they say hey he was kind and friendly let's give him an extra five bucks they can add that there you click next and it send it processes the payment you're gonna get the payment it's gonna go to whatever account you linked it to and it's gonna send that receipt out to your customer so you hit next customer and you can keep going so that's Flint uh, it's it's a viable viable alternative to Square it does have a small processing fee but you can go ahead and use that as an alternative if you don't want to carry around the extra um, you know adapter to plug into your headphone jack you can use that as an alternative so you can go ahead and check that one out also that's on the uh, on the iTunes App Store uh, it's a free download like I said check it out if you are using mobile processing and you need an alternative to uh, to square to go ahead and use that but back to reflections so it's a pretty smooth experience um, the quality as you can see is fairly good but it's not a free app um, you know which I'm very very hesitant to buy apps um, I like to stick toward the free ones, but sometimes to meet what you have to get done, you got to spend a little bit of money. So go ahead and check that one out. I'll throw a link down for uh, for both of those apps in the description. You go ahead and check that out. Leave me a, a comment if you have any suggestions, any similar apps. If there's a free version or a free alternative that does it, the same thing, please let me know. I'd love to check it out. I'd love to use that instead of paying for the... Uh, the license. So let me know what you think. Check out both those apps. Hit the subscribe button. And until next time, keep it real.